Welcome friends. You're watching Rocky Mountain Gardens and my name is Mary, just in case this is your first time viewing my channel. I welcome you all, like I said, and today I especially am welcoming you to the October Flipping Friday that is hosted by my friend Jamie from Board or Bananas. Now Jamie has two channels and I'm going to put hot links to them down in the description box. You know that is right below the video on YouTube. If you'd like to check out her channel, she has wonderful things to offer you. There will also be a playlist so that you can binge watch any and all of the videos that the participants have been uh, adding to a lovely playlist for you. And today I have a couple of uh, things to offer you. I haven't done a huge project because I just got back from uh, an 11 day tour in Greece. We went to Athens and then we also were uh, visiting the islands on a cruise. And I'm planning to do a video about it because the Greeks are wonderful gardeners. I mean, there are just flowers and beautiful plants everywhere you go. And of course, the history and culture is fascinating. So guys, uh, look for that video that will be coming up very soon. And so let's jump right in to our flips. I also wanted to share with you two pictures with black frames and I actually do like the black frame on this painting. However, in my bedroom where I have it hanging, um, it is a little bit too dark. So I'm going to do an experiment here and use my DIY white wax. And we're going to apply it and see what we can do to sort of brighten it up just a tiny bit. Let's see how that works. I wanted to show you a close up of the frame here. You can see it has a very rough surface. So I think this white wax is going to sort of go into the crevices and make it look very interesting. So I'm taking my wax paper and placing it in here in order to protect my painting. This is a painting that one of my girlfriends made for me and it is especially special <laughs> to me. So I'll just try to be careful. I'm going to use a chip brush and let's just start applying the wax. This DIY white wax is just the perfect consistency. It's not such a hard to use paste wax. Uh, it has some uh, softness to it, I guess you might say. And so it's very easy to apply, but it's not runny. And you might have noticed that my dark brown wax, the Art Deco that I have used is um, a very runny wax. Next, I'm going to be wiping back and exposing because of the sort of crevices that are in this frame. The white wax has gone deep into the crevices and I can wipe it back and it gives it a very interesting effect to the frame. It makes it just gorgeous. I love the effect. And this white wax can be used in so many different ways and different for different crafts. So I really recommend it if you're looking for a good quality white wax for your projects. And when you wipe it away, it of course does show that unevenness. I'm going to set this aside to cure for a bit and then we'll take a look at it up in my bedroom and 
I think it's going to just look fantastic. I'm so excited. I have hung my painting right here in the bedroom and just give you a little bit of a peek here at the area. I have so many projects to do for my bedroom and guys, I do plan to do a Christmas tour of my bedroom this year. I really feel like going all out and really doing a full bedroom Christmas decorating video for you. So this will just add to the beauty, I hope, <laughs> of this area of my bedroom and also my upcoming tour for Christmas. And guys, I do have this cabinet here in my bedroom with this orangey color. And guess what? This fall, I plan to go ahead and chalk paint it. So that will be one of my upcoming flips for you to watch. And hopefully it will turn out really pretty, just like this beautiful painting from my girlfriend, Lise. Thank you, Lise, for a great, great painting. I just love it. Now for artwork piece number two. This is one you saw me do in an earlier flip. I cleaned up the painting itself and then did the frame. But where I'm hanging it on my gallery wall, it just looks too dark. So we're going to use this same treatment of white wax and it's been hanging on my wall. And I'm going to go ahead and apply a coat of this DIY white wax again on this project here. And let's see how it turns out. I think it's gonna really help it look great on my gallery wall. Now there are other white waxes on the market, but I had seen several uh, YouTube channels where they use this product and I really liked how things turned out. So I did buy some and this is my first attempt <laughs> at using it on a project. And guys, on the first one, I sure did like it. Here I am using one finger to get into this groove that I had earlier painted a sort of medium blue color. And by uh, removing most of the wax, I get this lovely blue that is really going to be um, very visible to the eye as part of the frame. And this frame also has a very rough texture, so uh, by putting on the white wax, it is revealing that texture and making that frame look so interesting. All right, friends, here is my gallery wall, once again, with my waxed frame and I really am liking the way it looks. It adds a brightness to that painting that just makes it stand out beautifully on my wall. Let me know what you think of the change. Do you like it or is it just too much? <laughs> I thrifted this darling candle holder recently but as you can see, it has a very shiny brass look to it. And in order to coordinate with my other brass candlesticks, I need it to be toned down a little bit so it's not so brand new looking, I guess. I want it to look old and aged. 
So here's a tip for you. I'm going to take this Deco Art Dark Brown Wax and I'm going to apply it to give it a more aged look. So I just have an old rag. I'm going to dip it in my wax and just apply it all over. Be generous when you're doing this type of craft where you are aging a piece. Be generous with that wax and coat it well. And because it's a slippery surface, you can let it set for a few minutes before the next step. Now I'm just going to take this same cloth and dab away the excess that is on this candlestick. And if you see a spot that you miss, just go ahead and add some more wax, easy to do. I hope to see you next Friday because I've been doing a lot of thrift shopping recently and I have some very fun pieces to share with you. So come on back and have a wonderful weekend. I will see you very soon and bye for now. I'm back in my dining room with my centerpiece that you may have seen on my home tour. And I wanted to give you a close-up of this chamber stick. Now, here's an older brass candlestick that is quite tarnished. And now, here is my chamber stick, which has been sort of aged with the wax, as you saw. And they match pretty well, don't you think? I did a little bit of research because I was wondering what this type of candlestick was called. And it is specifically a chamber stick. It is called that because it has the little handle and also a little tray at the bottom. So you can use it in colonial times they used it to carry from room to room or chamber to chamber. and be able to walk holding the candlestick and also catch any wax, uh, wax that dripped down here in this tray so it didn't get all over your floor. Kind of interesting, don't you think? You might notice that this particular chamber stick can hold a taper candle and has a larger space to hold a sort of a narrow pillar candle as well. It's a great find that I got thrifting, I believe, at Goodwill. And there you are. I love the look.